And First Third Four Investigates has been deep diving into this really overall heinous case. Investigator Susan O'Corey joining me now. Let's talk about the new details that you found with these new charges. Well, what's so striking here, Sam, is the difference between these charges. Both are murder charges, but one is for first degree. The other is second degree. Now, ultimately, that decision is up to prosecutors, and we know this is being handled by two different jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. Tonight, I did talk to a legal expert who's giving us some insight into what could be at play here. Questions remain tonight over what did 36-year-old Ashley Parmalee say when she walked into the Festus Police Department Tuesday and confessed to murdering her two children. Those statements could explain why she's facing lesser charges in her two-year-old son Isaac's death. First Alert 4 investigates learning the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office requested first-degree murder. Prosecutors picked second-degree. We tried getting answers from prosecutors. Trying to understand the charging decision. They didn't take our calls. For the prosecutor, it's what they can prove. David Mueller so is a criminal defense lawyer. He says charging decisions in murder cases comes down to intent and what's called cool deliberation. What exactly constitutes cool deliberation? And really what that means is you're not in the heat of passion. You have an opportunity to reflect on what you're doing and then still choose to make that decision. So even if it's a, a fleeting second. I've seen prosecutors stand up in closing arguments and say, that's cool deliberation. That's enough time to make a decision that you know you want to make to murder somebody. In St. Francis County, prosecutors charged Parmalee with first degree murder of her nine year old daughter, Scarlett. First Alert 4 investigates uncovering Parmalee was active on Facebook, publicly sharing pictures of her family. The night before the murders, she changed her profile picture to a black screen. First Alert 4 investigates finding four years ago, before her son was born, a public post on Parmalee's page talks about struggling with depression. Part of it reads, I needed a friend more than anything, always questioning if the kids would be happier or better off without me being their primary caregiver because I knew that they deserved a much better role model. First Alert 4 investigates also discovering family court records showing Parmalee was in a nearly six year long dispute with her daughter's dad. It started around when she was born in 2015 and lasted until 2021. We also found while that was going on, Parmalee got custody of her niece who was 11 years old at the time. Court records show she stayed in her care until she aged out at 18. And First Alert 4 investigates also learning from court records that Parmalee's family has dealt with a history of violence. In 1999, her uncle murdered his parents, who were Parmalee's grandparents. And one thing that's worth mentioning, these charges against Ashley Parmalee are not necessarily set in stone. Prosecutors can change them if they get new evidence. The punishment difference here between first and second degree murder is distinct. First means no parole or the death penalty. All things we're going to continue to follow. Susan O'Corey, First Alert 4 Investigates. And